Hi guys, you welcome to another wonderful video today. So today I want to talk about what I promised you guys on my last video. I want to talk about um, how you can set up a Google Authenticator for your Binance uh, app. All right. So once you have your Google, you can use your Google Authenticator on your mobile phone. So and uh, you can use it on your web also. But I'm going to show you mobile phone because it's uh, quite easy that way. You just have to download the Google Authenticator and sign up of course with your gmail and after you've signed up of course with your gmail then you have a google authenticator and some numbers keeps on reading all the time like six digit number keeps on going takes like maybe after um after 20 seconds it changes to another number and all of that so well first of all let me just uh let's hear a little bit from what google authenticator is all right google authenticator So uh, this is Here's a summary okay. from Wikipedia. Right. Authenticator is a software-based authenticator by Google that implements two-step verification services using the time-based one-time password algorithm and HMEC-based one-time password algorithm. All right, thank you, Google, for that. All right, so like uh, like she said, it's uh, it's a two-factor authenticator. Two-factor authenticator means okay. Let me bring out this stuff. All right, I use in. Um, is in teaching all right so what does two-factor authenticator means all right guys so now this is your mobile device or your laptop device all right so this is it you have this here and um this is google authenticator okay all right and this is the web um provider for example this is the worldwide web provider for example this is binance all right so now once you type in your password now you want to log into binance all right you want to access binance right so, but now Binance have to, they need to be very sure that you are the one logging in. So now you are the only one that has um, access to your Google Authenticator through your email because we, once you have an email with Google, then that means you already have a Google Authenticator. You just have to download the app and go through the process. So now once you want to log in, all right, so now Google gives you a one-time password. Like I say, it's a six digits number. It gives you a one-time password, and uh, let's say that one-time password is one, 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 one. So it's six in number, right? So now once it gives you one, 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 then at that point it's giving you one, one, one. Binance is also asking you for this Google Authenticator. So like I I did that um in this big in the beginning of this video. So once you type in one, one, one in less than twenty seconds before it expires then you click on done or log in let's say you click on log in then now you are into binance so you can now see that um binance now knows it's you logging in with your google authenticator so it's quite safe all right so now you know what google authenticator is let's move back to um okay this is it this is where i'm supposed to put my google authenticator so right now you can't see my phone but I can see my phone and I want to open my Google Authenticator app. I just opened it and now the number I can see there, I'm just going to type it in. And um, Google, or, um, Google with permission of Binance already know it's me. So I'm just going to type in this number and uh, no need to click submit. It understands and uh, click on understand. And um, boom, you can now see it's loading. Then I can gain access into my Binance. All right. So. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can set this up I'm very easy. So now the things you need to know is that whenever you change your mobile phone, your Google Authenticator stops. So that means you you cannot log into your um, Binance app. All right. So now what you have to do is this. Now make sure you don't forget your um, email password. It's very important. And even though you do forget your email password, make sure that um, you can recover it. Maybe with your phone number or with another email. All right. So but very important. Don't forget your email password because if you do forget your email password. It's going to be very, very hard for you to log into your Binance account without your Google Authenticator. So, but aside that, it's very secured. So now once you have that done, then you can change your, you can change your mobile phone. Also, don't change the dates of your mobile phone. So thank God it's a smartphone. So anywhere you are in the world, the times, the, the time you, where you are tends to, you know, change because it's a smartphone. So, but one of the things you should know is timing um, can affect your Google Authenticator performance. So um let's start let's let's go in so now once you log into your binance this is where you have all right 
so now you can see just go to um left side of your uh, of your of your page and click on security so now you click on security a lot of options okay you're gonna see my a lot of options how you can secure accounts is already there so now you can set a security key uh, it looks like um, a token if you deal with bank like a bank token uh, you can set up that i don't want to set up that i don't want to ask for this key and now you can see my google authenticator and it is enabled that's why it says disabled right here so if i want to disable it i'm just going to click on um disable and now binance gives you an option of having trouble with your google authenticator um then they're going to solve it for you if you know your passphrase all right so now you can also you know sms authenticator uh, or sms authentication i can also use sms authentication but due to the fact that i may not be staying in one country i'm always on the on the run you know it's best to use your google authenticator all right so but if you're using the sms authentication that means you are channeled to just one phone number and if you don't have that phone number you can log in so now you can also do your email address so if i want to change my email address i can come here and change my email address binance make sure that all these options are very easy for you so now you can also use anti-facing code all right so facing code is like um uh if so there are so many um copy copy website out there that are fake binance websites or um there's some links that looks like binance link and you just maybe fall victim and you click on it and boom it's not binance link so but this will help you and the will help you make sure that that doesn't happen to you all right so you can do address management and identify uh, uh um, identification verification i've done this it's verified so my next video i'm going to show you guys how you can uh, how you can um verify your um your your binance account so now when you log in one thing you need to do you have to secure account with maybe a google authenticator sms or email or one of or all of them make sure you do that to secure your accounts very important and the next thing you have to do is add um identification verification all right so you have to identify yourself and once it's verified then you can do a lot so my next video is going to show you guys how to actually verify and why it's important for you to ver verify and the uh the the documents you submit what levels do they give you and what levels do they break you get so that's uh, for the next video. All right, guys. So please don't forget to subscribe if you love this video. Hit the like button. It really helps this video. Hit the like button and drop a comment. All right. I'm going to put my phone number right there so you can hit me up on WhatsApp. And uh, I'm going to help you if you're having any issues with this. All right, guys. Thank you for watching.